It's another way of making sound. It's another way of putting the sound out there. We were joking around with it. I think we called it cream because it was this really smooth dance sound. When you use technology to make music, that you can do so much more with it than you can with traditional instruments in some cases. This class has given me a better appreciation for listening to pop music. Not necessarily because the artists have any talent, but because I really respect their producers. <laughs> to put together even just a two or three minute song, I mean, hours and hours and hours in studio production time. I mean, it really was like we were learning how to play three different instruments or four different instruments. You have certain fixed elements that you know would work well together. Oh, this sound, if it occurred in the piece, that would be interesting. So you make the possibility for it to happen. In particular, my group was using a lot of different physical sensors, so things that can sense light, um, your heart rate, your uh, muscle activity when it's applied to a muscle on, say, your arm. And so you can use those sensors to actually change the way that sound is being created live. Uh, the tempo, where, where was that? Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that was, that's and was the reason I was selected to do the heartbeat <laughs> is because I actually have walking pneumonia. <laughs> and one of the symptoms of walking pneumonia is you have an elevated heart rate, <laughs> which makes me perfect for a dance, so. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were thinking, I was like, either I'm gonna run up and down the stairs and bring it up to dance tempo, or like, <laughs> We're, we'll just put it on. We'll just put it on the person with walking pneumonia. Right. <laughs> Much more efficient. We'd like to show you the gangster, the gangster mode, the chopped and screwed, <laughs> the chopped and screwed remix, if you will. And I really liked the idea of a dance song that was controlled by the dancer, and where it was more of an interaction between the music and the dancer than just the music is there and the dancer is responding. What if the music answered back? Are you ready for this? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's nice to actually have, you know, com something completely surprising happen um, and sort of let the technology go, go nuts, uh, create something you've never seen before or heard. <laughs> The bioflex was, was actually one of our favorite parts.